Hey stylers, welcome back to a full stock ink channel for another video. Let's get right on in. I am using this, what I believe is vintage material that used to be a curtain. I don't remember if I found this in my grandmother's basement or I picked it up at some thrift store, but I have two panels here. It looks to be hand sewn. So it took me a while to realize that this was something that was once produced and sold by JCPenney because of the hand sewn details that it had but I have about I have two panels here and I like that it's almost like a cotton material so laying it all out seeing how much I have let's get to cutting I am using the Trulium ensemble pattern from Mood Soul Society and I've already created a mock-up off camera and I did my fitting so I will be going right in and adding the necessary adjustments to the shorts of the pattern only making minor adjustment to my shorts just giving myself a little bit more thigh room and booty room in the shorts and adding about five inches to the length which is going to be eaten up two inches going to be eaten up in the hem but i just wanted to give me a little bit more length and a little bit more room i didn't want anything busting open when i'm up and moving around And I'm going to start off with sewing all of my dark pleats and pockets. Getting all the small detail done first, I'm going to be trimming the pocket flaps flipping them over and I'm going to be ironing as I go so you guys will see me at this ironing board quite a bit in this video I have pleated up my pockets that will be going on my jackets I decided to skip the option of adding the pockets to my shorts when I was playing around with the mock-up I did not like how they looked on the shorts so I'm going to be skipping that step moving on to actually assembling this thing I'm first going to fold over and press what I'm what it will be the button placket on the jacket or the top and then I'm going to start by sewing together the shoulder seams of the back panel and the front panels so that I can place my pockets so I just slung this over my shoulders so I know exactly where I wanted the first pocket to sit and I went ahead and I did the mirror image on the other side of the front using my ruler to line things up so that nothing looks kind of wonky and crazy and then I went ahead and sewed up the back panel of the shirt, adding the yoke and then adding the facing so it's a nice clean inside. Now I'm going to sew down my pockets. And then I'm going to go back to the pressing, back to my iron to press down that flap so it's nice and flat. I'm going to do a wide hem fold over of the jacket I want this to be a nice crop jacket I really really do like that look so I'm doing this when I'm doing this when I just have the shoulder seams and the side seams together getting this quickly done out the way before I go in and I add the sleeves so I have less fabric to try to maneuver and move around when pressing this out and passing this through my sewing machine and I really do like the look of the wide hem Now moving into the sleeve, the sleeves did come in three parts. So there, there, there is the upper sleeve and then there's the lower sleeve and then the cuff. So right sides facing each other. I sewed the lower sleeve to the upper sleeve and then I flipped that over and did a top stitch sewing down the seam allowance. Moving on, I'm going to attach my collar piece. Guys, you've seen me assemble a jacket and a shirt enough to know the steps. I'm going to put first collar piece right size to right side top of the jacket. Then I'm going to assemble the at the facing that will be the collar facing um, with right sides together. And then I will be turning that right um, inside out. Well, right side out. I will be turning that right side out. Thank you. 
I do go in and do using my pinking shears to clean up all of the edges um, so there is no fraying but you guys don't see it on camera so I'm flipping my collar right side out I'm going to go to my sewing machine I mean I'm going to go to my iron and do a quick little press and then I'm going to fold over the edges and do a nice stitch in the ditch to hide away all of those inside seams of my jacket now we get into the shorts I first measured out my pleats and my darts for the front and the back the front has pleats the back has darts no the front has darts and the back has pleats then I give those all a good pressing and now I'm sewing that I'm pressing down the side seams of the front and the back so I can put in my invisible zipper this is my first time using a visible zipper and I think I did a good job. I hope I did a good job. Um, there is room for improvement, but I just marked out nine inches because my zipper was a little long and I didn't have another invisible nine inch zipper. So sewing one side down, then I go in and I sew down the other side and then I finish this by sewing down the remaining side seams of my shorts putting the front and the back together. Then I go in and I sew down the back crotch, the back rise and the front rise. And then I fold it so that it can lay flat so that I can put together the crotch and the inseam of the shorts. Finishing that all off with a narrow hem. Trimming it and finishing it off with a narrow hem. I finally go in with my waistband um right sides together flipping that up and folding that over and to do a baby hem and that's it that's it guys this is so cute this came out so cute this was so easy i finished this in two days i'm so very proud of myself um it was like two and a half days because i did like stop halfway through the second day because i had an event to go to but what do you think do we love it is it cute let me know Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I gotta be kind of quiet because stuff's happening in the house. But thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really love how this video turned out. I really, really love how the set came out. I'm proud of myself um, for finishing it and clearing it through. I love that this set can be dressed up dressed up dressed down it could be worn separately or together um i hope you guys love the way that the filming and editing took place i'm really trying to do a little things different as much as i can with just having one camera stationary anywho i am so excited because the next two months are going to be crazy i already have the next two months planned out and i'm already prepping the next two weeks of video because it is my goal to hopefully take uh, a week off in June. My mother will be graduating from mass from graduate school. So I just want to be able to have that time with her and my family that's coming in and not have to worry about creating content, editing content, and just have that week off. So I'm thinking of either going live or just pre-recording. But I do want to know because I think that's the last time I actually like sit down and talk to you guys was my last my live video earlier this month okay, last month. it's earlier this month <laughs> would you guys like to see another live video i really love that you guys tuned in and chimed on um, i was very surprised it's always scary to think that you're going to be on live talking to yourself so thank you guys so much for tuning in and would you guys like another live video i will give you guys at least a week head notice and reminders um i don't know Hmm. Yeah, I'll give you guys at least a head week notice, at least a week notice, and we can just sit down and have a chat. It can be something cute, something simple. I do have a vacation trip planned for the end of the month, so maybe we can like, I can pack and we can chat, or we can just chat. Let me know down below if you want another live video, and if I should be doing live videos once a month, let me know. Hmm. I think that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.